G'day guys, it's KT here and today I will be finishing off the special cut for Mario Kart 64 going through the tracks DK's Jungle Park, Jungle Parkway, Yoshi Valley Banshee Boardwalk and Rainbow Road. So let's do this, a one player game, Mario Grand Prix, 150cc and for this episode I will be using Donkey Kong as requested by DK Dude and uh, Pots podcast pools in the comments <laughs> so here we go we're on to the special cup as I said DK's Jungle Parkway Yoshi Valley Banshee Boardwalk and Rainbow Road let's do this we've won every single cup so far hopefully we can finish Mario Kart 64 on a good note so let's start this two one and we get the good start Okay, so this track, DK's Jungle Parkway, was made specially for this Mario Kart 64 because this is the first game DK was introduced into and they thought, you know, we'll give him his own track. Well, it's almost seemed like a home course for him. This track was remade for Mario Kart, for Mario Kart Wii. And for that, they fixed something in the jump, which I'll try and show you a bit later. But it's just basically a big jungle. It's a rather simple, straightforward track. And then you see this little cave up here. And you can drift all the way up in this version. In the Wii version, they made it a bit harder. But here we go onto the second lap, passing the little steam boat thing over. And we cut around through this loop. See, now with this jump, you can go across, except I bashed into Luigi, so it didn't let me. But in the Wii version, I'd say, in the Wii version, it doesn't let you cut across, it just gives you sort of boost thing, and you can't turn, so you can't really get too much of a shortcut. But so far, this is looking good for us. First place, second lap. And see, uh, can you see those? That's They look like coconuts or something of some sort, except they are apparently like rocks. And in the um, description manual of the game, it says for this track that if you go off to the side, oh, yeah, someone was cheeky. And um, th they will throw the unhappy inhabitants of the parkway will throw things at you. Okay, that's alright. Just really, really annoying when you're just trying to cut across like this and they push you again. And if they keep hitting you, you will spin out. But here we go, we've got Peach right beside us. Peach is gone. So it looks like Peach and Luigi will be our main rivals for this cup. And across the bridge. Here we go, we can get first place. And there we go, first place for the first race in the Special Cup. It's off to a good start, but it's going to be a tough one from here on in, guys. So, DK, Luigi, Peach, Toad. Let's see what we can do against them. <coughs> oh, pardon me, guys, I've just been a bit sick, sick recently. That's why I haven't put out a video for about a week or so, but going to try and uh, get through this now. Onto Yoshi Valley, a track that has not yet been remade, but I desperately want for the Mario Kart Wii U due to be the launch sometime in this year. So this is Yoshi Valley, and <coughs> sorry guys, and um, this for this track, as you can see over to the left of the screen, there are four question marks. That's because it, people, people have said, and I was told when I was younger by my brother, who I used to always play this with, that it was because they, oh, they just wanted to make it harder so that you couldn't know, you couldn't know who would be winning. In reality, the Nintendo 64 didn't have enough power to figure out who was winning through the maze. <laughs> So it's, it's 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 another thing. It's the only track to have this little like addition, you could say. But I, I really like it. It's 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 something different. So I, I hope they remake it for the Wii U. It'd be 
which would be really nice with the, uh, damn, that didn't work too well, um, which would be really nice with the gamepad to have, like, the map down there or something, you have the map on the screen so you can figure out an easier route through. I like to take the left, the route to the left, to the right and then to the left, but um, there's lots of different ways it can be quicker, but I find that quickest for myself. So we're heading off for in second, you can sort of tell from the map. And let's cut through here again. We've got Toad on our tail. Don't go over those little things there, because they will make you see now. Slow. And I think I'm in the lead. Yes, I am. Okay, let's get going. Let's finish this off. Let's, let's get two wins because we've got some, two tough tracks coming up after this. See this giant egg? Don't go near it because it will... Oh dear. Oh dear. That was not good. The egg will crush you. And I've got Peach right... Peach right behind me, but there we go. Lost a little bit of breath there. That was a bit too intense for my liking. But we finished first in Yoshi Valley. One of my favourite tracks, I'd say, in this game, just because it's pretty hard. And it's, it was, it's something different. There's lots of different ways you can take, not just maybe one or two shortcuts. So far in this cup, we're looking pretty good. But on to the next track, Banshee Boardwalk. As a child, I dreaded this track, because I really wanted to get to the next track, Rainbow Road, but I always had to get through this one. And I missed the star. And this is this is really a really dark type of track. It's there's lots of booze around. The music was always really eerie and still is. And it was just a really really tight thing, especially this bit right here. They made that easier on the remake version, which is for DS. Yeah, I'm not sure it was DS. Yes, I'm correct with that. But. It's still a tough track, no matter the hearts, so... Oh wow, that was lucky. So far it's looking pretty good, as you can see there, all the boos. They're loving the uh, sprite, 3D sprite action there. The wonders of the Nintendo 64's graphics uh, capabilities. But, let's go on. It's, it's looking alright. I haven't fallen off yet, but it's gonna happen. Oh! I had to let go of the accelerator there, that was gonna turn out pretty bad. So my aim for this track, if I can just to get above, if I can get second, that would be great. Because I've never really had too much luck in this track. I have so many retries on it. It's really not funny at all. I, every time, whoops, every time I did this track I'd have to retry it. But at the moment, we're looking alright, we're in third. Hearing music is just ticking and the oh, and the booze laughs and the bats and oh, this is this was out of <laughs> this was scary for me playing as a really young child. The difficulty oh no oh no this is not good. Um, the difficulty and just the whole idea of the track. But, oh, we're up in second somehow. I think uh, Peach has fallen off. And Peach was coming second behind us, so we'll take that. And we will finish in second, going on to Rainbow Road. Which is the longest track in the game. It is actually two kilometers long, and it takes over two minutes per lap. But there we go, we have an eight point lead. And I don't think we can actually lose this effectively. But here we go. Rainbow Road, the last track for the special cup. Two, three. And we get the boost. Oh, we've got to watch out for that little jump bit there. And now there are chain chomps going around this whole track. So you've got to watch out for them. There's about say so maybe five going around. Here's the first one. So it's trying to 
let's try and evade it, I was going to say. But that didn't work. But don't worry, we have plenty of time. We're only 30 seconds into the first lap, which others would be quite a while, but because this is a big rainbow road, we've just got to just pace it. Wait till the third lap to make any big moves if we need to. So just sitting around here with the green shells. I hate those chain chomps. That's the one thing I could say. What I was going to say is that I love this music. I don't think anyone who has played this game doesn't like the music. It is. Oh, just just listen to it. I'll let you guys listen to it for a, for a little bit. Maybe not so good with me just humming over the top, but it's this this song just made me go crazy as a kid. And when you're passing around with all the stars and all the colours and the star and four, it, it just it just blew my mind. It was so much fun. It was like it was just oh, everything you could want in a Mario Kart track. And it's because you're passing all like the light wings and like, all the characters, the race devs. And if you go here, there, if, if you jump, try and jump there, you can turn over to the left, you can land on the track. It is basically impossible, but I have landed it on a few occasions. And I've got to admit that I had a lot of fun. Probably overacted a hell of a lot when I actually got that. But it's not looking too good at the moment, guys. We are on to the second lap, but in fifth, so let's try and catch up. I don't want to drop up too much. So here we go. Oh, back into second, so I think there's just a huge clump of them, of the AI just there. But we continue on onto Rainbow Road. Amazing music behind us. Peach now behind us. Donkey Kong's in front of us. Well, I'm Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong Peach was in front of us. And a chain chopper coming up, so let's just ooh, get out of the way of that. Didn't mean to fire that grain shell forward, but that looked pretty cool. Hopefully, I won't get hit by one because there is no chance of you falling off the edge for this trap. <laughs> Oh! Damn those champions. I really hate the champions. Okay, so let's keep going. Let's do this. Oh, someone somehow fell off the edge. No, no, I don't know. Let's let's keep going. We can chase down Peach because we have another lap to go. Just look at the time in that top row. It has taken three minutes. These laps. Just two laps so far, so if we're doing Moon Moon Farm, we're probably up to lap eight or something by now. But let's keep going. We've got about two minutes to go in this let's play for me, but I just want to talk a little bit about what I plan to do in the future for my let's plays. I hope to start. Well, I, I have two ideas, two, two plans that I may do. Either start a new Let's Play after this. What game? I don't know exactly which game yet. Yeah, green shell. So, yeah, I'm not exactly sure which game yet I will start. But I also want to do a co-op, a little co-op thing for um, for this game, Mario Kart 64. So I'll either do it with Pudge or I've got few other people who may want to do it with, hopefully you'll, you'll enjoy their gameplay as well. But um, I'm, I'm trying to decide, I may just do that as sort of a, a mixed thing, like every, every maybe every two weeks post a video of that so we don't get too much Mario Kart. That's, not, that's why I really don't want to do uh, the mirror mode because it's, it's not, I understand it's not the same thing, but it's basically similar. 
You'll be hearing the same stuff from me. <coughs> so, sorry guys. Yeah, hopefully by my next video or the next Let's Play, I will be in better health at the moment. Not too good. Oh, wow, that was lucky. And here we go, guys. We're crossing the line. We finished first. We have won the special cup. And that is a long time racing. 5 minutes, 40 seconds, 0.48. And victory in the special cup in the last race of my Mario Kart 64. Let's play 33 points over 19, 18, and 4, and, and 1 down for Mario down at the bottom. But I just want to say it's been lots of fun doing this Let's Play for you. The first one for Zadji Rump channel. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I certainly did, as it's one of my favourite games. Game I really grew up as a, a Nintendo old, you could say. But, um, <laughs> um, but hopefully. I will get to do some multiplayer action as well with maybe two or three other people, but if not, maybe another one. We have to do get through uh, the big donut block for Double Deck and Skyscraper in the uh, battle, and maybe do some racing as well to see, see how that goes. But by and large, thanks very much for watching, guys. I'll either see you in my next Let's Play or a uh, multiplayer playthrough of this. Mario Kart 64, but ultimately thanks for watching. I have been KT, this has been Zadjirom, and I've also been DK, and we've just won the special cup. I want to say thanks for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe if you want to, or uh, follow us on Twitter. And that's it. Cheers, guys, for watching. Welcome to Mario Kart! Well, there are credits. Shall I leave them on? I'll leave them on. They got some nice stuff going. I just listen, let you guys listen to the music for this one. But I love this music. This is almost as good as Rainbow Road for me. When the first time I beat Rainbow Road, 150cc, this music just oh, it, it, it gave me feelings. It just, it just oh man, it just made me feel. Awesome. Just looking through everything again. Look at those screwed up textured flops and Bowser's castle that I have no idea about. The many faces of Wario. Damn penguins. That jump that we didn't try but too risky to take at Royal Raceway, Mario, Super Mario 64, the chocolate boulders in Choco Mountain, the eggy maze in Yoshi Valley that needs to be remade. Listen to me Nintendo, listen. The flowing uh, DK Jungle. Mario Circuit, the one where we somehow got away with the, the uh, Flower Cup. Koopa Trooper Beach, with that cave. The trucks, buses, and Toad's Turnpike. The evilness of my childhood that was Banshee Boardwalk. Last race we got through, Rainbow Road. Special thanks to all those guys, and special thanks to you guys who are watching, guys and gals, wherever in the world you may be on YouTube. Thanks very much for watching. I've been KT. Thanks very much. Hey, you're very good. Cheers, Mario. Cheers.